Hey, this is going to be an incriminating and somber video, but I hope that by sharing it, I will inspire others to help themselves out of addictions that are still taboo, even in this day and age. You know, addictions that are still not spoken about as much as others. And talking about it helps me too. It took me a while to summon up the motivation to make this. My biggest nofap celibacy obstacle right now isn't pornography. It's not even the urge to masturbate per se. It's the temptation to go see escorts and masturbation in order to nurse the temptation to go see an escort, which is expensive, risky, addictive and unfulfilling for me because I tried it. Then I tried again and again and again and I spiralled into mental, physical and financial distress. I don't remember how many times I paid for sexual acts exactly and I don't care to remember because that is all in the past and now I am saying no more. Thanks to the internet, escorting is so accessible and easy to arrange and addictive. The temptation and the idea that I may relapse is a source of great distress for me, so much so that I even contemplated and still contemplate suicide or castration in order to navigate both the offline and online worlds without fear of temptation, STDs and financial ruin. But castration is a massive step into the great unknown to say the least with its own health complications that could cause even greater distress or it could be the most liberating thing I ever do like I said great unknowns in previous videos where I touched upon this subject I only managed to muster up enough courage enough courage to talk about surfing escorts websites but that wasn't the whole truth. This is the whole truth. Of course, surfing escorts websites is extremely addictive. But that's only half the story. Um, I actually went through with it, paid for sex with escorts many times, and still feel the urge to do it again sometimes. That's one of the biggest obstructions to my nofap celibacy attempts. But I am trying, because I do not want to pay for sex. If I do have sex ever again, I want it to be of the love-making kind with someone I trust in a long-term relationship. Oh, and I relapsed again for the second time and third time since starting this Viborg V Creative Sexual Abstinence Project. The second time was on Thursday night or Friday morning. Um, I had some coffee in the evening to get some inspiration to help make the Lighthouse Metronome video when I was on holiday in Southwold, a seaside town in Suffolk, and of course uh, I couldn't sleep. Instead of going for a nighttime walk on the beach, which I should have done and would have been really nice, um, I had a wank to help me sleep. Two wanks actually, and they worked but the chaser effect that followed led to a third relapse yesterday. At least I didn't drunkenly hook up with someone again like I did a month ago. But yeah, it's so easy for guys and girls to fall into escort addiction. It's scary. That's partly why I want to severely minimize my access to the internet. That and my addiction to social media, music videos and surfing as well. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it, some people remove the internet from their home and go out to cafes to use it. But I live with my parents and they use it so I can't do that. Speaking of which, I'm convinced internet addiction is mainly responsible for why I haven't flown the proverbial nest yet. Anyway, so yeah, I can't do that. I thought about finding some kind of locker somewhere I can keep my laptops in, like in a gym. 
and go use the internet in cafes but if somebody sees what I'm doing then they could get stolen and I'd be on my dad's iPad all the time I could ask a friend to keep it and then use it when I go visit them but they might start to think that I only care about visiting them in order to use the internet and I wouldn't want them to think that I'll think of something um, because I, I don't want to do no internet just yet just minimised internet for the time being. So yeah, that's how I am feeling. A little down, upset, alone and ashamed that I let this happen to myself. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that it would be easier to admit to being a drug addict than an escorts or slash escort surfing addict. It's pretty fucking terrible. I don't want it. I want to conserve and save up money, energy, semen. I don't want to spend those resources until I'm a shadow of my former self who can't be trusted to look after himself. I don't want to put myself into potentially dangerous situations where I could catch a disease or get beaten up by a pimp or a gang. I just want to clarify that I never went out onto the street every time it was through the internet. I am a good person. I just fucked up pretty damn hard and I am going to try it damn hard to unfuck up. And if this happened to you as well, if you are struggling with the temptation to go see an escort, or if you're masturbating to porn, whatever your situation is, please don't hesitate to comment or send a private message or an email. If you would like to have a Skype session with me, I would be more than happy to do that and I will do the best I can to help and support you. If you're a man, a woman or whatever biological sex and gender identity that you may be. If you are or were a sex worker, I would be interested to hear what you have to say. Anyway, I think that's about it. See you next time.